Hello, my name is Amanda, Amanda Mandible, and I have something to say. I was walking down the street the other day, and I saw a man who had a band-aid on his nose. But it wasn't on his nose, it was on his face, lying flat on his face where his nose should be. And I thought, wow, that man doesn't have a nose. How much must it suck to not have a nose? I mean, besides that you wouldn't be able to smell nice things like apple pie and and, and cinnamon and and Christmas trees and 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 parsley and 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 rutabagas. Besides, you wouldn't be able to smell those things. You 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 have well everybody you know they you people blow their nose and things and well would he still make the stuff that you blow out your nose or would it oh, wait oh, 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 oh that's nasty. I don't even want to think about that. That's so gross. And then, and then, and then, people would see you on the street and they would look at you and they would say, wow, that man doesn't, that girl or that man doesn't have a nose. And then you would think, oh, if I only had a nose, my life would be wonderful. And, and, and chicks would dig me. Or boys, boys would like me, but, you can't just go buy a nose. I mean, Walmart, they sell lots of things, but they don't sell noses. No, they don't. Oh. But so, so anyway, I was talking to my friend and she was complaining because her parents, they don't understand her. And I said, you know what? Suck it up. At least you have a nose, you know? And she said, but, but someone told me that, that, that they, they cut themselves and it makes them feel better. What? Why, why would you do that? Why? It doesn't make any sense at all. And, and why would you do that when you have a perfectly good nose? And this man, he doesn't even have one. Why would you do that? And then she said, well, that's a good point. I don't know, at least I do have a nose. So that made me feel better. And she decided that she had a bad, good life, you know, you know. So I have a question for you, people out there. If, if aliens were going to take over our planet and, and they needed a human body part from every person, every person, including you, but they said you can pick which body part you want to get rid of, which body part would you pick? Now, 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 don't cheat now. Don't, don't say your appendix or, or, or a little piece of skin or something because you can live, you know, you don't need that. But something that, you know, is kind of useful. Don't take my nose because I wouldn't want to be without my nose because I like to smell things. But I only smell nice things. Don't get any funny ideas out there that I'm smelling funny things. I only like nice things. I'm not that kind of girl. But anyway, that's your question. And uh, go ahead and post a comment or email me. Um, my friend Jen, yeah, you can email her and uh, she'll get back to me and then, then I'll, I'll, or you can post a video response, that would be cool. Um, you can talk to me and like, it could be like a person like me or you could uh, just talk like your normal person self. So, so anyway, uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Uh, talk to you soon. This is Amanda Mandible. Mad love, guys. Mad love. <laughs> Bye.